Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm trying to flip this screen. I don't know what's going on. There we go. All right, everybody doing? Thank you for coming in. Tell it like it is Tuesdays. I'm still kind of fixing this thing up. You know, matter of fact, hold on. Uh, there we go. Hey, everybody. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate you guys. We're going to be talking about should women be splitting the bills with her man? All right. Let me see here. L Scott 35. Hello to you as well. Make sure to invite your friends here. Share it, share it on Twitter. Share it on your social media. Let's get people on this uh, broadcast so we can have everybody chime in and, and give their opinion. Um, if you like what you're hearing or just, just to show me love, make sure to tap your screen. Tapping your screen gives me hearts. I appreciate the hearts. I appreciate when you show me love in that way. Again, keep in, I see the hearts coming in. That's nice. Keep inviting your friends. Hi from ATL, pretty brown eyes. What's up? I'm in ATL as well. That's where I'm uh, based out of. I see Detroit, Paris. So we got people internationally, Raleigh, Cal North Carolina. It's a wonderful thing. I'm going to give it a couple, about another minute. Let some people, more more people jump in. I see no, no splitting bills. We're going to get there. Give it a second. We're going to talk about it. All right. Savannah, Georgia. Georgia in the house. Cleveland, Ohio. I see why not. We're going again. We're going to talk about it. Houston, Texas. I was. Uh, I'm headed to Houston later this. Not le actually next month, October. I believe it is the 16th. I got to check back with that. But bottom line is professional and single tour. I'm doing Houston, Phoenix, Atlanta in the month of October. So get ready for that. If you want to get tickets, you can go to professionalandsingletour.com. Um, and you'll see the other cities on there as well. I'm going to be adding Miami, New York, um, L.A. as well. Yes, Miami. I just said Miami. <laughs> That's my hometown, so I definitely got to do Miami. Miami, Fort Lauderdale area. Um, but anyways, keep it coming. So we're going to jump into this real quick. So before I give you my opinion on this topic, I want everybody who thinks that the woman should split the bills with the man... Type one. Let's see how many ones we get. I see some ones now. I see, okay, the ones are coming in. All right, and now, while the ones are coming in, everybody who says the woman shouldn't have to split the bills, the man is the provider, he should be taking care of the woman, give me a number two. I see. Depends. Are they married? All right. There's there's a couple of twos there. Don't be. A, I see a lot of twos from that one. <laughs> Keep it coming. We're seeing some twos here. We're seeing some ones. We see it depends. All right. So it varies. All right. So here's here's my take on this situation. And the reason why I'm even having this discussion right now is because I saw on social media a few posts by individuals that. Well, women to be specific, that was saying that a man, you know, the men these days, they don't know how to take care of a woman. They expect the women to split all the bills half and half, um, what happened to protecting and providing, so on and so forth. And it's caused a lot of ruckus among some people. A lot of people have chimed in. Now, here's my thing. One, number one is it all depends on the couple. All right. No one should be upset at anyone who has a structure where the man's taking care of it. And, you know, the, the woman doesn't have to work or whatever. Nor should anybody be upset by people splitting the bills. It's whoever, it's whatever works for that couple. If, if they're cool with it, fine. All right? Because different people need different things. But I think that where people are getting it wrong is people are looking for equality in every which way. Listen, in a relationship, the equality comes from the fact that you, as a woman and as a man, you two are both equal in value. Meaning, without one or the other, the relationship is going to fail. If one of you guys slack off, you're not doing your part, you're not pointing to your partner, the relationship cannot survive, it cannot succeed. Therefore, you are of equal importance. However, that doesn't mean you have to do everything equally. It doesn't mean there aren't roles in a relationship. Not necessarily gender roles, because I think that's where people get uh, caught up with the whole gender role thing. No, 
It's just roles. If you look in a business, there's roles. You look on a sports team, there's roles. Every team that's successful has roles. So there's nothing wrong with saying, okay, I'm going to handle this, you're going to handle that. Instead of looking for someone who's going to, oh, we're going to split this down half, we're going to both clean this much, we're going to both cook this, for what? At the end of the day, I'm going to have certain strengths, you're going to have certain weaknesses. I got to pick up where you're weak, you got to pick up where I'm weak. We got to create balance. Balance is the key. So with the whole paying bills things, you know, some people make the argument that, oh, you know, in today's world, you can't survive on one income. All right, I get it. That's true for some people. But there's a lot of people out there who make it hard for them to survive on one income because of the luxuries they want to have. And at the end of the day, you got to ask yourself, okay, what's more important? Both of us working to have these certain luxuries or possibly removing the burden off of one or the other to allow a greater balance in the relationship. Yes, we may not go on as many vacations. We may not have as many nice things. But if we have more time for each other, more love to give to each other, which is the foundation of a great relationship, well, then we're doing well. So let me tell you, I'm going to give you my perspective as far as my personal life. Now, if it's me, personally, I don't need or want or care about a woman's money. Um, not that it's not great when you have it <laughs> or that you can get it. The thing is, that's not what's important to me. What's important to me is you being able to love me, you being able to support me, you being a source of positive energy in my life. So with that said, <clears throat> personally, I would, I want to give my, whoever I'm going to be with the luxury of not having to work. Not saying that you can't work. You can do whatever makes you happy. The, the point is to remove the stress or the pressure of, I got to be at this job that I don't even enjoy just to bring home a check. I don't care for, I don't want that on my partner, period. That's me. Now, I'm not saying everybody has to do it that way. But in my from my perspective, I believe that's a great way to approach it because there was once an article I read where it talked about how back in the days, one of the reasons that some relationships, because I'm, 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 I'm one to tell you that the when we praise the back in the days relationships, it wasn't always as sweet as we think. However, one of the things that they pointed out was that, you know, back then, both parties didn't have to work. There was one person going to work, one person being at home. So what it did was, rather than, it allowed there to be balance. One person who could basically hold down the home, one person who brings it in, and they, they basically feed off each other. Right now, you got two people going to jobs they're not happy with, getting stressed out, coming home, looking for the, each other to, to console them. It does.